In this video we have the definite integral from 0 to 1 of 2x plus 3 multiplied by e with an exponent of x squared plus 3x plus 6. And you can see that the exponent of the exponential here has a derivative of 2x plus 3. And I have a 2x plus 3 as a factor. So that tells me that a u substitution is going to work here. So I'm going to let u equal to the exponent x squared plus 3x plus 6. Then du will equal to the derivative of this, which will be 2x plus 3. And then we multiply this by dx. So now we transform this integral into one involving the variable u. And I will change the limits of integration. So x equal to 0 here from 0 to 1. So I can say then when x is equal to 0, using this u substitution here, go to 0 where the x is. This will be 0 there, 0 there, and a 6. So that tells me u will be 6. On the upper limit, if x is equal to 1 for this u substitution, this tells me that this will be a 1 there, a 1 there, so it'll be 6 plus 3 plus 1, u will be 10. Now we're ready to convert this to the variable u. So it'll be the integral, the limits will change then instead of 0 to 1, it'll be from 6 to 10. And then the product of 2x plus 3 and dx right here, 2x plus 3 and dx, that'll be your du. And then I'll have an e, and the exponent is the u, so this will be u here, and of course uh, the du from this product right here, 2x plus 3 dx, those are grouped together here. And then we evaluate this. The integral of e to the u with respect to d, with respect to u, is e to the u. And then we apply the limits of integration. In this case, we're dealing with u, so it's from 6 to 10. We evaluated the upper limit, that's e to the 10, and then subtract the value at the lower limit, that's 6, so it'll be e to the 6. Now this is the exact answer. If they ask you for an approximation, you can use your calculator to compute this, but this is the answer. There's no constant of integration here because we're dealing with a definite, definite. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.